Hello everybody, hopefully your quarantine is still going all right. I assume some of you guys have already heard this story, and so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little brief with the 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 generalities of the story, and I'm gonna focus mostly on the analytical perspective here because I feel like that's the thing that not a lot of people are talking about. So the story today is going to be on uh, Ahmad Aubrey, who is a 25 year old jogging. Some guys try to make a citizen's arrest. One of the guys was an investigator in the area, retired a year prior, and so they committed this act. I'm gonna show you guys. The video, Arbery is now dead. The question that I have is, what are the qualifications even for making a citizen's arrest? Now, the implications are huge on this. Just follow me this on this for just a second. Implications are huge because they assumed that Arbery did something, which is why they made it the citizen's arrest. There's a lot of radical right and left extremism nowadays. And so if you're assuming that somebody committed an act, what is, what is stopping you from just not making a citizen's arrest on somebody that you don't like? Well, I have the answer for that, actually, because we look at the laws. All right. Now, just to kind of touch on what I already said. Oh, by the way, also, I study extremism and security and justice. All that kind of spins into this story. So here we are. Anyway, quick background. Like I already said, Ahmad Arbery was reported to have gone for a jog in Georgia when two men tried to make a citizen's arrest because they thought Arbery was one of the guys potentially or who, nobody knows who was robbing or, or excuse me, burglarizing houses. They're assuming that it's this guy. They followed him for a while before the incident. Here's the video showing the incident. The guy in the back, the bed of the truck, like I already said, he was an investigator and he was retired. They had a prosecutor for this case and the prosecutor had to drop the case or excuse me, not drop, leave the case because of conflict of interest. There is a second prosecutor that jumped in. He had to leave as well because of conflict of interest. Now there is a third prosecutor who is now jumping on board with this. Now, he was saying that he wants a grand jury to decide whether criminal charges are warranted, and that will not happen until at least mid-June, since Georgia courts remain largely closed because of the pandemic. So where there's national and potentially international news on this shooting, and it's not even going to be processed until mid-June. My first question is, how exactly can someone conduct a citizen's arrest? Well, obviously, it's going to vary state per state because this is kind of a the state issue. But let's look at Georgia because I think it's going to be a representation about how these laws are actually written. And so I am assuming, fair warning, I'm assuming that it's going to be relatively similar in each state, more or less. Like, for example, do you have to have evidence in order to conduct a citizen's arrest? Evidence being you are a direct witness to this action and then you act immediately after that action. That's kind of what I'm going for right here. So let's look into it. So the law says, quote, a private person may arrest an offender if the offense is committed in his presence or within his immediate knowledge. If the offense is a felony and the offender is escaping or attempting to escape, a private person may arrest upon reasonable and probable grounds of suspicion. So what this means is that these happy fellas had to have had seen Ahmad commit these, this burglary or a citizen's arrest is not warranted. Let me know if you have a different interpretation, but that's essentially my interpretation. The implications for the extremist political groups now, you know what I'm trying to say. The implications is that no, you can't just arrest somebody because you assume they did something. So if somebody's about to give a speech and I look at them and I say, hey, I think they just, uh, I think they just uh, broke into a couple houses down there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a citizen's arrest right before he decides to give this speech. Doesn't look like that's the case at least in Georgia. So are these guys in the wrong? I don't, I don't think I need to say anything. I think we get the point. Yes, they're in the wrong. Technically, based off their laws, they should be tried and found guilty. But as we know, with the criminal justice system, one plus one doesn't always equal two. So let me know what you think will happen. Let's give a little, let's give some predictions. I'm going to give it a couple days and I'm going to make my prediction. But let me know what you think. Anyway, thank you very much. Have a good day. Stay sane.